you too. Can you, why don't you come, you just go out there for a second. Don't be nervous, it's all going to be really good. But I'd like to have another volunteer, so, uh, who um, is really into guns. <laughs> oh, dude, you guys went up, you went up right away. My name is Min Seok Kim. Um, I'm from South Korea. I'm a first year student. Uh huh. What year are you? First year. First year? Yeah. Well, so you just, this is your second semester? Yes. You're from Seoul? No, I'm from Jeonju. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay. And. Uh, hi, my what? name is Avril. I'm a junior majoring in finance, and I'm from Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates. Abu Dhabi. But you're in, your ancestry is, your family's from India, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. my family's from India. I grew up in India, but I moved to Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi? Yeah. Okay. And, bro, w yeah, we can go. So, and where are you? Say your name again, and where are you from? Yeah, my name's Connor. I'm a senior here, and I'm from Downingtown, Pennsylvania. From where? Where at? Downingtown. Downingtown? Okay. My name's Nick. I'm a senior, also from Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Dude, awesome, man. <laughs> so, these guys are really into guns. Guns, yeah. Like, and so what, what I want you, the two of you to do, you're both international students. Do you, do you, first off, do you own any guns? No. No. Do you own any guns? Bro? No. Okay. Uh, what I'd like for the two of you to do is ask them questions about, I want you to learn as much as you can about guns in the U.S. You guys, any questions at all, right? So this is a case study. So your job is to learn to help all the, other, all the other international students in the class, everybody who's watching the live stream on video, to, to you want to, you wanna, who are always wondering about Americans and guns and what's this all about, your job is to get the answers from these two gentlemen right here. So, any questions? Um, where did you get the... Um. <laughs> Pretty much gun store, yeah. <laughs> gun store. That's a good question, actually. Okay. What's the minimum age to get the guns in, like, different states overall? Or, like, uh, is there a common rule or something? Uh, it's 18 for rifles and shotguns and 21 for pistols. Uh, is that same for all the states or different? Yeah, it's a federal thing. How do the, like, teenagers get the guns if, if the minimum age is 18 or 21? Like, how do the kids in the high school and, like, in high school and middle school get the guns? Um, I mean, typically most times it's probably a parent that did not lock the guns up properly. Um, but, yeah, there's no way that a store would sell you a gun under 18. How did you learn how to use guns? How to use guns, yeah. yeah. Um, honestly, YouTube. <laughs> uh, <I'd, laughs> Dude, you learn about guns and sex yeah, on YouTube. No, uh... <laughs> People in my family, like, I'm, like, the first one who, like, got into guns and all that. Um, my dad bought them uh, before I was 18 so I could get into it. But, like, I kind of learned everything just through okay. YouTube and, I guess, friends. Yeah. And, bro, how about you? I learned from my dad. My dad's a police officer. So he's had guns my whole life. So he's just kind of taught me. How many guns do you have? So, in my name, I only have three but through like my family, my me and my dad, like totally 15. 15. That's about how many guns there are in all of Korea, by the way. <laughs> so, you know, am I right on that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go. So what do you, do you have a response to 15? Do you have the license to use it or do you just use it like because your dad is a cop? So you only need a license to carry it concealed in Pennsylvania. So you could technically, I don't know what the state college rules are, but you could just walk around with a gun open, carry, like around your shoulder or outside your waist. Like if it's underneath the sweatshirt, you need a license. But, and then you can just apply to that at your uh, local courthouse. So. Well, how many guns do you have, by the way? Um, probably about 10. 10? Yeah. And you just you? Oh, uh, I guess technically in my name, maybe five or six. Mm -hmm. And then, like, throughout, just... So what are some of the guns that you guys have? How about, that's a good question for you. Right? Um, I guess I've got four shotguns, uh, pistol, um, like a Civil War gun, uh, 
and then an AR-15, and one or two rifles. And an and AR-15. Yep. Where do you do you know what that is? No. Do, do you know what that is? <laughs> yeah. Can you tell her what that is? It's it's an assault rifle. It's a uh, it just shoots a lot of bullets in a short amount of time. Uh, yeah. Do you ha where do you shoot that? Wait, hang on. That's a question. Ask him that question. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you shoot the bullets, or like where do you go for shooting range? Um, well, I mean, typically uh, there's a shooting range right down the road from here. Um, it's open to the public as long as you have a hunting license or have a range permit. Um, and then obviously I, I hunt a lot too, so that's another yeah. time when I'll be shooting. Uh huh. What is like to shoot AR-15? AR-15. AR-15. So it's actually very easy to shoot. It's a small bullet, so there's not much recoil at all, and it's a semi-auto, so that eats up a lot of the recoil. So you pretty much just load it, pull the uh, bolt back, and then just pull the trigger 30 like, times. Do you feel good when you shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel like a badass. Yeah, dude. It must be fun as hell, man, you know what I mean? Can I shoot your guns? <laughs> Yeah, you wanna? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever take people out shooting? Yeah. Yeah, all the time. Yeah? Yeah. We have a friend from uh, We also have a friend who um, is from uh, Dubai. Dubai and they can have guns there. Yeah. And uh, Pete kinda wanted us to show him how to do it, and we brought him hunting with us. Do you before. have to go to Downingtown, or can you do you shoot up here sometime? Oh, right up here. There's like 10 minutes down the road, there's a public range. Oh, yeah? Yep. Dude, you could go. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you want to go? Would you want to shoot a gun? Yeah. Could you take a shoot? <laughs> I would do it, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Awesome, man. I'm sure there are going to be other... It'd be cool. I'm sure there will be other people in class who would like to shoot. Like, I would, could you take me? I've never shot an AR-15. Oh, yeah. What? Okay, what else? What? What? So, like, are... Do you have another question? Do you guys have any questions? Like, what laws are in place to, like... We see these shootings happening on a daily basis, right? So what laws and how the enforcement agencies are not able to avoid these kind of incidents? Or like, where, is, where are they going wrong in which situation? So in a lot of these instances, I think the last one that happened in Michigan, the school shooting, or yeah, I think it was Michigan, uh, the kid got the gun from his parents. So it's either like your parents buy the gun, they misplace it, or in like a lot of like street crime, it's illegal guns. So just like guns that aren't registered, not from the store, just sold illegally. Mm -hmm. What do you guys, what do you think about that? Like how do you all, how do the two of you, um, like how do you, when you hear one of those stories of a shooting, a tragic shooting like that, what do you, what goes on in your mind? Um, I think a lot of the time, uh, like I think mental health checks should like kind of be part of uh, like purchasing a gun. Uh, I mean, literally anyone can get it, and I mean, with the high population, there's always just going to be like a small percent of people that are just really dumb or just dangerous people, mm -hmm. and there's really no way of, currently there's no way of like, um, like kind of barring those people from buying a gun. I mean, obviously people who are like legally insane are not allowed to buy them, but there's also people that are just, you have no idea and just could snap one day and... Sure. They can just purchase a gun just like any other person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm wondering if, so like in a class like this, so here we are and, uh, you know, so it's 118 and I'm like, hey, who's really into guns? Did, did either of you feel kind of weird about saying, no, you, your hands seemed like it went up really fast. Did you? I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty, I grew up around them, so I think it's pretty normal. Yeah. And in rural state college, I'm sure there's a lot of other kids that feel the same way. And Pennsylvania being a, like, pretty easy to get a gun, yeah. a lot of people have them. I grew up with guns. So I, grew, I shot, I, my memory is, my dad was really into guns. He, we always we had guns all over the house. So my first time I shot a gun, I was like four. You know, so he was really insistent that I was, knew how to shoot guns. And I couldn't play with toy guns. I could not even, if I had a squirt gun, a water gun, I could not even point it at somebody. So we never got to even do that because I wasn't allowed. Yeah, I think a lot of people are just scared of them and like don't have knowledge. Uh, and a lot of people like pass laws really have no like 
think if you had like background with them, you'd like understand it more. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I think some issues that they like bring up just don't have the knowledge behind it, and I don't know. People are just scared of them. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it's it would. Be, so the the Civil War gun that you say that you have. Yeah. That probably has the most kick, right? Does uh, it? actually, the least. It's just. Yeah. Um, Is it loud though? Aren't they really? Extremely loud. loud. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What? Anything else you got? How do your parents respond? Like, you know, when these incidents happen, how, like, do your parents talk to you or, like, try to get, if you're, like, you know, somehow on the same path or, like, you know, you know what I mean? I mean, my mom gets mad every time I come home when I buy a gun, but um, uh, I think they know that, like, I mean, I'm a pretty, I don't think I'm very stupid. Uh, take good care of them, put them in the right spots. Um, obviously, everyone, like, with those kind of tragedies, like, it's like upsetting hearing that kind of stuff and yeah but i think if you like take the proper care and i don't know uh -huh. you can prevent those situations most yeah. most of the time yeah bro how about a, a question for you right how is it for you that your father is a police officer mm -hmm. so how is it for you with all of the the um you know the criticism and the distrust of police and you know and you you know, you have a father who's a police officer, right? So yeah. you, you see it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. And how, how has it been for you these past couple of years when the police have really come under, under scrutiny? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. So for me, I mean, just any police officer going to work today, it's, it's a dangerous world out there. They got to always have their back and just worried about like getting killed by random people. And, uh, I know my mom worries about him a lot going to work, but luckily he's an officer in a pretty good area, uh -huh. in a good town, so he doesn't see too much like dangerous, dangerous crime like that. Uh huh. But yeah, it's kind but, of. But like you said, any, there are a lot of people out there. Yeah, yeah, no, you anyone, never know. People can get guns, right? Mm -hmm. Does anybody have a question they want to ask? Especially any international students who would be. All right, man. Someone said that you own guns because you want to hunt, like you go to hunting. What do you hunt? Um, <laughs> everything. Uh, mostly, uh, I guess, deer, ducks, and geese. That's what we typically go for, and turkeys. Why do you hunt? Um, no one in my family um, does it. I kind of, like I said, learned through YouTube, and I really just was watching like hunting shows, and I wanted to get into it. Um, I really enjoy being outside. Um, it's like a pastime that has just been declining. Not a lot of people are into it. Um, I just love being outside. Uh, it tastes great. Um, it's also a challenge. Um, yeah. Yeah. But like, what do you like? What do you feel after you like kill a living, or like for your enjoyment, you're killing it? So like, recoil. Like, to... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Did you, uh, dude, first up. No, obviously, Great like, <laughs> taking ahead. a life is, like, not, not, like, something that is enjoyable at all. Um, but, I mean, if you're just shooting something, you just shoot it, and you're not even going to eat it or anything like that, I think that's pretty bad. But, I mean. I mean, like, how does it feel to know that you have their bloods on your hand? Like, you uh, are the well, one who killed yeah. them. If you... By the way, these are really nice questions. Yeah, yeah. Go there. And I want, and bro, I want you to answer also. How, how's it feel to have the, like, blood on your hands? Like, how is that? So it's kind of like a primitive thing. Like, you almost feel the respect of the animal. Uh, it's not like you feel good, but you feel that it's going to be the quickest way that they're going to see death in the life cycle. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the natural death's going to be a lot worse and more painful than just getting shot and dying in like 15 seconds 30 seconds bro yeah i mean but we don't live in a primitive world now so like oh where, wait like, hang on hang on mm, are you have you ever been to a factory farm i have uh, seen where, those where? shows i mean i'm vegetarian so like just killing of oh, animals yeah, yeah. is still okay, very right. wait where are you where are you from <laughs> i'm from india you're from india and okay vegetarian all right yeah so you ever been to like a, a factory farm where we raise animals to, to kill them in a slaughterhouses? Talk about, talk about like inhumane, talk about barbaric, right? What you, what you all are doing when you go out and kill an animal, 
take its life. So here, this is something, right? You kill an animal, another being, right? A life form. You take its life from it. Now, its spirit is, its spirit is on you, okay? So you take responsibility for that. Its blood is on you. And then you eat the animal, okay? Now, that, that like, that's like karma on here. That's like karma on, like, on, for you guys, that's like karma that just hangs over your shoulders, right? But now imagine all these other people in the class who eat meat, we would never take the life of an animal, but you're really happy to go to Giant or Bilo or Whiskoy or, or, or uh, Wegmans or wherever you go, and you go to the meat aisle, and it's, it's, it's sitting on this little foam plat- platter covered in plastic, And it's a slice of something that used to be a piece of a body of another living being that was tortured horrifically in a factory farm that you can't even imagine the conditions under most of these factories. We're not talking, listen, you're from Downingtown. We're not talking about those of you who farm for, for meat. We're not talking about, you have a small farm and like, you know, you don't torture. I'm talking about places where there's, three million hogs, right, or five million chickens, and they live in a little cage. A chicken lives in a little cage smaller than this, and it lays eggs every day, and it never ever sees outside of that cage, and the egg drops down below that, and it goes and it shows up, and you buy it, and that chicken was, has no feathers on it because it can't have feathers on it, and it's been tortured its whole life, but you wouldn't go out and take a chicken and break its neck and cut its head off and take feathers out of it, which is an infinitely better life for the chicken to live a free life and then you go and kill it, but people wouldn't think of doing that, right? So you guys go and you take a life and like, okay. But no one feels like, it's different for you, bro, because you're a vegetarian, right? But like, that doesn't somehow seem weird.